Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be his kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. be with you and also with you let us pray grant O merciful God that your church being gathered together in unity by our Holy Spirit may show forth your power among all peoples to the glory of your name through Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever amen, amen. A reading from the book of Joshua. Joshua gathered all the tribes of Israel to Shechem and summoned the elders, the heads, the judges, and the officers of Israel, and they presented themselves before God. And Joshua said to all the people, Now therefore revere the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in faithfulness. Put away the gods that your ancestors served beyond the river and in Egypt, and serve the Lord. Now, if you are unwilling to serve the Lord, choose this day whom you will serve, whether the gods your ancestors served in the region beyond the river, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are living. But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Then the people answered, Far be it from us that we should forsake the Lord to serve other gods, for it is the Lord our God who brought us and our ancestors up from the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery, and who did those great signs in our sight. He protected us along all the way that we went and among all the peoples through whom we passed. And the Lord drove out before us all the peoples, the Amorites who lived in the land. Therefore, we, will all, we also will serve the Lord, for he is our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us read together Psalm 34, verses 15 through 22. We will read them responsively, whole verse by whole verse. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to root out the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord hears, hears them, and delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is near to those brokenhearted, and will save those whose spirits are crushed. Many are the troubles of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver him out of all of them. He will keep safe all his bones, not one of them shall be broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be punished. 
The Lord ransoms the life of his servants, and none will be punished who trust in him. Our second reading is from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his power. Put on the whole armor of God, so that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For our struggles is not against enemies of blood and flesh, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers of these present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, so that you may be able to withstand on that evil day and having done everything to stand firm. Stand therefore and fasten the belt of truth around your waist and put on the breastplate of righteousness. As shoes for your feet, put on whatever will make you ready to proclaim the gospel of peace. With all of these, take the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Pray in the spirit at all times in every prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert and always preserve in supplication for all the saints. Pray also for me so that when I speak, a message may be given to me to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare it boldly as I must speak. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus said, those who eat my flesh and drink my blood abide in me, and I in them, just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so whoever eats me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven, not like that which your ancestors ate and they died, but the one who eats this bread will live forever. He said these things while he was teaching in the synagogue of Capernaum. When many of his disciples heard it, they said, this teaching is difficult, who can accept it? But Jesus, being aware that his disciples were complaining about it, said to them, does this offend you? Then what if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the spirit that gives life, the flesh is useless. The words that I have spoken to you are spirit and life, but among you there are some who do not believe. For Jesus knew from the first who were the ones that did not believe and who was the one that would betray him. And he said, for this reason, I have told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted by the Father. Because of this, many of his disciples turned back and no longer went about with him. 
So Jesus asked the twelve, Do you also wish to go away? Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom can we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and know that you are the Holy One of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. We will read the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The prayers of the people. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church, that we, that we all, all may be one. one. Grant that every member of the church may truly and humbly serve you, that, that your, your name, name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons, and in our diocesan cycle of prayer, we pray for, pray for St. David's Bean Blossom, the Reverend Kate Wilson, the Reverend William Morris, that, that they, they may be faithful, faithful ministers, ministers of your word and sacrament. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world. Pray especially for Joe Biden, our president, Eric, our governor, Chris, our mayor, and those serving in the military, Nam Cook, Caleb Garrett, Tommy Harris, Ken Morrison, Scott Williams, that there, there may be justice and peace on the earth. earth. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake, that, that our, our works may find favor in your sight. sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble, including those who have asked for our prayers. Paige Sexton, Heather Duchess, Becky Seiler, Lydia Wente, Delaney Wente, Kelly Garrett, Cassidy Williams, Rick Manning, Craig Meyer, that they may be delivered from their distress. We pray for all those celebrating birthdays and those celebrating anniversaries, Nancy and Larry May, that they may praise your name forever and ever. Give to the departed eternal rest. Let light perpetual shine upon them. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom. Heavenly Father, you have promised to hear what we ask in the name of your Son. Accept and fulfill our petitions, we pray, not as we ask 
in your ignorance, not as we deserve in our sinfulness, but as you know and love us in your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. We have a few announcements this morning, and then if anyone has some quick ones afterwards, feel free to do so. Uh, we wanted to let you know that we have several supply priests lined up. Uh, the first day that we will have communion is September 8th. Um, so we have a couple in September and October and November. Uh, we also have an interim priest that we will be meeting with very soon. Very anxious to meet him and have him meet us. Um, so we kind of wanted to, you know what the developments are in the church and let you know that we are working on supply priests because we know how important communion is to everyone. Thanks. Um, the offertory.
And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all that you have made kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all, your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ. For the means of grace and for the hope of glory, and we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit the honor and glory throughout ages. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, open our hearts and minds to the words we have heard and give us strength and courage as we go forth to love and serve you. Amen. to love and serve the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.